to do a quick summary I've opened the box already uh, but I'm gonna do a summary of what's in the box or you know the quality of what I'm looking at those of you guys who are just looking at pictures online on this it's always a little bit difficult to understand um, and no I don't work for an ampy no I don't get this stuff for free um, <laughs> it doesn't I'm not in that business okay so um, I'm going to show you what's in here that I was pretty, you know, some of the stuff I'm pretty impressed with, some of it not so much. These are billet aluminum. These are your caliper holders. Um, it almost looks like a like they took the 71 stuff and made it for the uh, earlier buses, which is good. That wasn't bad brakes that they had in there. So the calipers look like this. They're actually... It feels like they're pretty good steel. I mean, you got to remember, most of the caliper, re medium manufactured calipers or new calipers that you buy for newer cars are made in China. So, made in China isn't always bad, um, just mostly. <laughs> so, the brake hoses um, have DOT numbers on them. Um, so, I'm thinking that they use the qualifying hose. There you go. So, um, they look well crimped, and because I've had some of the other ones that the hoses just failed, you know, some of the other British brake kits, I don't know if it was empty or what, um, here's the lines that come with it, um, they don't have that gold crappy stuff on them, um, it does come with nuts, you know, it comes with these guys so it's kind of handy because half the time you go to take these off and they're bad um, the brake pads are I think um, they feel a little bit like they've got a slight metallic to them but they're not a real semi metallic pad um, I think my opinion I think they're a metallic um, and uh, ceramic mix, which is actually the, the best going pad so far on the market. I mean, that's what's on my uh, TDI sport wagon. So these might be pretty good. We'll find out when I put them on. Um, also, uh, the thing that's a big beer is that it has only a single reservoir master, which is kind of that's not so great to me. I think they should have put a dual reservoir master on this. Especially when you're going to disc brakes. You're worried about safety already. Because um, if your rear wheel cylinders go out, um, then you're in trouble. Not likely that the front ones are going to go out when you put disc brakes on. They're much more reliable than wheel cylinders were. Okay, the seals are generic. Um, they do have a neoprene feel to them. They don't feel like they're made out of cheap rubber, so not bad. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. This is my opinion. I'm just kind of trying to help you guys that are looking at buying this kit. So to see what you get. I'm not sure what these are. They look like a spacer of some kind. Um, cheaply made, obviously, but if that's what it is, then that's okay. Um, the dis the dust caps just look like normal cheap dust caps bearings are Generic um, But you know like I've run these generic style bearings as a trailer kit before and haven't had any problems myself uh, They're not Timken or any of the other brands um, <clears throat> Or Amer or what is it called the other one? B, whatever it is I don't know um, just comes with the washers too which is nice um, I don't know what this is I think it's grease maybe the hell is it I don't know if it's grease I'll be using my own I use the disc brake grease some sort of a Loctite comes in here find out what that's for maybe I'll look at the instructions um, not sure what this is. It's kind of a real lightweight aluminum piece. Um, maybe it has something to do with the single 
brake line that it comes with. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I should. I think it's probably they use two rights or something like that. And you have to move the bleeder. I'm not sure. Yeah, actually, see the bleeders over here. So the calipers are universal. So you have a bleeder here. I mean, for the other side, you want to flip it to this side so that it's, I forget, facing up or down. Um, I don't know. It has to be facing the right direction or you won't be able to bleed your brakes out. Just so you know that. Um, so, anyway, it looks like, to me, it's not a bad quality kit. Um, it looks like it will work. Um, a lot of people are wondering, you know, if they should go with vented rotors. Um, in my opinion, I've, I had a 71 bus and it looks to me very similar to the 71 braking system, about the same width on the rotor, about the same style caliper, other than I do recall having a cracking issue on my 71, the calipers actually cracked the original Volkswagen calipers, by the way. Um, so, but let's hope that they've made that a little thicker to resolve that issue. Um, the, and it does look pretty thick right here. This is what I was concerned with, this area right here. Um, the rotors being not vented, um, some of you guys are going to be going, oh, I'm going to get the vented rotors. You know, I had a 71 bus. I had never had an issue with stopping in that thing. It stopped no problem with, you know, a full load of people in it. And uh, it, you know, I'm not racing. So unless you're, you know, going out racing your bus, and I, I would not recommend doing that. You know, folks, buses are not for driving like that, okay? They're for cruising. So, um you know, that's, I, I the, the, the solid rotor should be fine. Um, I'll let you know, uh, stay tuned, look in the other videos that I have on this subject, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe so we get you on those videos, and then I'll show you some other stuff on this um, as well. I'll talk to you in the next video, please like, share, and subscribe.